Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your next 24 hours love reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits. Leave the rest. I'm going to take a look at your love life here, Virgo. Okay. Um, personal reading links are below this video if you would like to get a, a reading from me. So take a look at the past energy and then the present. Okay, we've got the future here. Okay, looking good. Okay, oh, there's that page of pentacles again. All right, let's see what the uh, romance angels have to say for you, Virgo. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. And welcome if you're new. All right, let's see. What does Virgo need to know? All right, past position. Give your relationship a chance. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay, Virgo. <clears throat> so there definitely was some red flags in the in the relationship, something, or in a in a past situation. Um, but I do kind of feel like you were trying, and I feel like your person was trying. Um, we do have the King of Swords here, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, uh, so you might have been involved with that person, okay? Or it, if it's not that sign, which I do feel like for some of you may have been a Gemini, um, but if it's not that per, you know, that sign, this is just somebody who is kind of coldish, but very direct. Okay, this is someone who. Um, for some, it could have been a Leo as well. I don't know why I'm just picking up Leo energy, but <clears throat> a little bit cold. Definitely all about nobility and truth. And uh, I just heard like biting, <laughs> biting. Maybe they bit you a lot or they like to bite or nibble. Um, but this person was just very closed off. And with the Four of Pentacles, uh, wanted long-term security, but wanted things on their terms, okay? And that Seven of Cups is like non-committal at the same time, okay? My way or the highway, you know, but I'm not promising that I'm going to commit to anything. And I feel like that's what their energy was in the past with you, where they had too many choices, or they were just kind of like, I don't know what to do, um, or they ghosted a lot, that kind of thing playing out. And, and I do feel like you know, they were, they were either seeing red flags in you, Virgo, because we're going to, we keep it real here. Either they were seeing red flags in you or they were looking for red flags all the time. Okay. Could have been that, right? Um, so it really just depends on your situation, but let's take a look at this King of Swords. Let's go a little bit deeper to see this person. Okay. So they're giving you the Three of Cups. So this person was definitely mingling quite a bit, flirting with others, um, have a lot of friends of the opposite sex, um, just kind of wanted to keep, I feel like they wanted to keep that hidden from you, um, either because they were playing around or because they just didn't want to cause any kind of like jealousy or anything like that they may have also thought that that was what you were doing as well okay and they may have been like looking at the red seeing those as red flags or thinking that maybe you were just too involved with your friends or they didn't want you to meet their female friends and if it's a female they didn't want you to meet their male friends okay um it seems to me like the opposite sex is a lot of this person was seeking a lot of validation from through the opposite sex, okay, because there was an element of being lost. Their heart was usually pretty blocked, closed. They have possessive, they had a possessive energy about them, um, or they didn't want anyone to be possessive of them, so they hid things a lot, okay. Um, but I do feel like um, there was an an opportunity to work on this partnership, but just all these red flags. Okay. Um, let's see what this four of pentacles is. Oh, sorry. 
Okay. So, yeah, five of wands. Competition. Competitiveness. That kind of energy playing out with this person. Um, gosh, that's tough. Rivalry. Yeah. they. It's almost like they didn't want to have any kind of, like, problems. They didn't... They may have had a lot of competition for them or they felt there was a lot of competition for you and just trying to kind of like hold on to your relationship or mm, they didn't want to compete for your love i just heard and I, I don't know that you put that you put this person in a position to feel that way to feel like they had to do that sorry i had to um message somebody here real quick um but yeah, they they didn't, it feels like they, they just held back. There might have been a lot of people competing for their attention. And they just kind of like held everything to themselves. They didn't reveal too much. Let's see, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. And they just wanted to stay single. They may have, they may have been acting those ways, but then kind of like looking like they were giving your relationship a chance as well. But as soon as they saw a red flag, then they just, it's almost fear-based. It's almost like keeping themselves safe from getting hurt by spreading themselves out, like having all their ducks in a row, you know, like having other people lined up and keeping other people close to them so that they, they were just, it feels like this person is very jealous, very possessive, didn't like you talking to other people or having other people around you. Um, and so they wouldn't commit and they would just try to stay single and just keep their... <sighs> it's a little immature. Okay, so let's look at the present energy here. Honeymoon and attraction. Okay. So it feels like what's happening here is... Despite this person's insecurity in the present, they're going to come back, okay? They're still tr tremendously attracted to you, okay? They want to spend some time with you, okay? Knight of Wands here, travel. There's a big physical attraction, okay? I'm just hearing as soon as the restrictions are up, I'm ready to come back or I'm ready to interact again with Virgo. Four of Wands get together, have some kind of celebration, a homecoming, a reunion. Sometimes that's the marriage card. Okay. Are they going to try to marry you? I don't really feel like it because I don't see a proposal here. So it feels, uh, you know, for some of you, you could already be in a marriage with this person. But for others, I feel like they're going to try to come back to reconnect with you. <clears throat> because they're attracted to you um, and like spend some holiday time or just like some vacation or some time together. Okay, the world here. Yeah, there's there's an energy here of like maybe going on some kind of vacation together is what I was seeing with the world or travel. Okay. Okay. Oh, the star over the eight of, eight of swords. I feel like there's a... So, at first I was feeling like, oh, this person's just trying to come back in so that they don't lose you. But the star is telling me, um, I mean, they're really gaining a lot of faith. See, because the eight of swords is sitting in the center of this reading, it's not just the restrictions that are going on in the world. Because that does play a role here, but it's also the restrictions of them of their mind. Okay, um, this person I feel like is like they self sabotage, and I feel like they're trying to, you know, heal this, or there there's an element of healing to this. It's like they're aware. I feel like they're aware of how. They wanted to give the they wanted to try to make the relationship work or the partnership try to work on it, but they they just have these 
their jealousy and possessiveness kept them it self -sabot sabotaged the relationship or they they did that themselves all right this knight, knight of wands here oh wow well, yeah i mean they're not going to stop coming back this person is going to come back and then come back and then come back and keep putting in the effort to keep coming back to you at least the star is here because that means that there is a sense of healing here and having faith that this problem this could work out this is a card of renewal and hope and having inner clarity maybe it's something that you have said to them in the past that made them realize and maybe they put the blame on you for why they weren't able to overcome things blaming you for talking to other people or they were being jealous and possessive when like you probably weren't doing anything wrong some of you maybe you were being intentional with that but um this is like an insecurity here with this person so going forward you have the ace of cups of six of pentacles and the page of pentacles forgiving and learning and very soon a decision is going to be made this person hmm, as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay well again with the healing here forgiving and learning that's what that ace of cups is new beginnings here in love let's take a look and see Okay, five of swords. Yeah, oh gosh, yeah. Uh, five of swords. Forgive, please forgive. They they seek your forgiveness. They hope you'll forgive them for being abusive. And I'm not going to call this anything else other than what it was or what it is. <laughs> Healing. Proposal. Or um you know a new having a new relationship trying again going back to the very beginning okay letting go of these control issues six of pentacles here okay recovery learning how in the four of swords um healing and learning to give this person might have been more of a taker than a giver and now they're showing up as someone who starts giving to the relationship instead of being so the way they were before defensive possessive controlling never able to commit that kind of thing dismissive and the page of pentacles is here with the hermit well so i feel like these this communication or the offer is like real you know, it's it's ideas and things that they have to really make something work here. They've been thinking about it. Um, they'll communicate to you that they have been thinking about things and like they've they'll say to you that they never were truly able to manifest the things that they wanted to have because it felt like true love was always out of reach for them um, because they had these blocks in the way, you know, again, with the abuse or the um, the jealousy or the control or the things they say or like i was saying the withdrawal is a form of control stonewalling um silent treatments and the four of swords you know that is a card of retreat and it is a card of silence and solitude and rather than going into this energy going forward now it's coming out and, and actually giving giving back that's what the six of pentacles is giving receiving helping and being generous something that comes from a place of peace here with this person so i mean you know i know this is the next 24 hours and i know that we have the past present future <clears throat> excuse me that future energy could be playing out way later it doesn't have to be tomorrow you know but there's definitely um a progression happening here with with this person okay decision it's time to decide about this relationship okay so two decision cards here there's going to be a decision this person's making up their mind here to try to bring in 
what they want. I feel like what they want is you. You probably have left them or you've just disengaged or pulled away and they feel it. Some of you just said, that's it. You're done. You can't handle it and you don't want that anymore. Doesn't feel healthy. We are more alike than I admit. Than I admit. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you guys danced this push-pull dance. Maybe you guys were in this thing where this person was like keeping other people on the side. And then you, maybe they were, I feel like they were hiding it. But you probably knew or felt like there was something going on. And then you went ahead and had acquired your own people on the side. And, you know, you both were kind of mirroring each other because you were hurt. I, I feel like for you, Virgo, that's not like a, you're not vengeful. Um, by nature, I feel like you are like very sincere and when you love, you love fully and you're there for your person, but something, something happened, something got you and it really was just, you were mirroring each other and then they were seeing it as red flags in you because they couldn't see what they were doing. And I think you gave it up. I think you were like, mm -mm, I'm not, I'm not playing games here. I'm done. Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you, Virgo. It's this person. They are. They replay their conversations over and over. They do believe that you guys will be together again. That's what they want. But I don't know if you want that, Virgo. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I feel like they're going to be asking you for forgiveness and are in this place of like really seeing the light. <clears throat> they love you unconditionally. And I don't know if you're going to trust that because of the things that they've shown you, but they know they made a mistake. I mean, you're just going to have to wait and see like if they truly, they're afraid to contact you right now. So if you're not hearing from them, it's not because they're trying to punish you. They really are afraid to contact you. Um, but I do feel like I do feel like something, you can feel it right now, some of you. I know you can feel the energy. It's shifting and it's moving. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. And forgiveness. Yep, that's twice. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Okay. Yeah, you could forgive, Virgo. And you could say, I forgive and I forget, but... No hard feelings. Catch you later. Um, and others could just say, well, okay, I can forgive you. Um, and can, let's try to move forward in this relationship and try to like do it in a healthy way. Move forward in a healthy way. My life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, this person <laughs> kind of lost sometimes. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, but they really do love you. They do. They just do. I think this. They just said, "Tell Virgo that this person is not a is not a narcissist. They have these traits, though, that resemble that. Okay, but they're not a. They're not like a full no. Because if they were, they wouldn't be coming to terms with how they hurt you. Like it feels genuine. And a narcissist." If a narcissist comes towards you and says that they're sorry, it's usually, I'm sorry, but you made me do it. That's a narcissist. But someone who is not will come forward and say, I'm really sorry. And I hope you will forgive me for what I've done. Okay. That's the difference. All right. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay. In some way, some of you do have this person you're connecting with, um, there's money issues. Okay. Time apart. Some distance helps bring clarity. Okay. I do feel like that has played a role in this relationship. There was a lot of back and forth. Time apart, getting clarity, coming back together. Time apart, getting clarity, coming back together. And the last one, I wish I could take back my words. See, they, they've said some things to you, Virgo, that were harmful that we're cutting and dry and not very nice. Are you able to forgive this person for the for what they said? If they weren't mean or harsh, they said things that may have made you think other things. 
like positive things yet not following through with those things so even if they promised that they would marry you or promised that you would be together or have children together or something like that and then they flaked on you um they're sorry for leading you on and that's what i feel like those words have to do with okay virgo so i hope that that was healing and helped you in some way um, I'm going to leave the message here and I will see you guys. Make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. I appreciate it. See you guys tomorrow. Take care.